It's time for the other side of the madness. In this series, we're getting to know our stars beyond the game as we get closer to March Madness. And up next, I have Michigan's Nas Hillman with me. All right, Nas, in this series, we always start off with some pictures. So first, describe this person on the court. Who is she? Yeah, on the court, I mean, I would like to just say that I'm super fiery, um, always yelling, screaming, whether it's for myself or my teammates, um, super competitive. You know, I just feel like I want to win. I mean, I do want to win every single game. So just doing anything and everything that I can, even if that means like being my teammates biggest hype man. Um, so just super fiery, competitive and, and loud. <laughs> we see that on the court and we love it for sure. Now, the other side of it. Who is this person in real life in this photo? What's her personality? What's her style? You name it. Who is she? Yeah, I mean, I feel like in a lot of respects, I'm the same person, um, but it takes it takes that fiery and like loud side to come out once I get to know someone. Um, I'm not like necessarily one of those people who can just like talk to anybody off the bat, like just like me going up to them. But, you know, as we make our waves, like I feel like I can talk to almost anyone. Um, just like, just chill person. I just like to hang with my friends, shop, you know, go to the movies, nothing, nothing too, too much. Um, and I mean, I do like to take pictures. Um, I had one of my friends who are like, as a professionally took them. Um, and you know, sometimes I just like to step out of, you know, my basketball sweats and put on some jeans and the crop top or something. Um, and just have a little fun with it. What is she like and what is she doesn't like? Yeah, she likes to, I mean, I'm, I'm a big napper. That's probably like what I would say is my second sport. Um, <laughs> but um, I mean, I love being around my friends and family. Um, you know, I, I feel like I surround myself with great people. So I really enjoy being around them. A foodie, um, anywhere I go, I'm like looking up like man versus food or like, you know, diners driving the dives places. Me and my dad do that a lot when I go to a new place. Um, you know, and what Nas doesn't like, I mean, it's not too much. Like as long as I'm around like some great people, I feel like I can make a good time out of anything. So. Well, food and sleep. I feel like we could be best friends, honestly, because that's my whole life right there. But colliding the two worlds together, describe who you are as a whole in seven words. Okay, I would say fiery, energetic, uh, loving, competitive, stubborn, my slightest of ways, um, genuine. I don't know if I said fun yet. I'll throw, I'll throw fun in there. <laughs> I love it. So what do you enjoy doing outside of basketball? Yeah, so outside of basketball, and I don't do it as much because I just feel like I don't have the time and, I mean, being in a cold state, it's also kind of hard with the scenery, but um, I enjoy taking pictures. Um, when I was younger, like before college, I would like, just like on my phone and I did get a camera when I was younger, just like I'm taking pictures of landscape, um, sometimes of people, but more so just like the scenery and the greenery around me. Um, that's something that I, I really enjoy doing. Um, so I, I put that top on the list. Okay, so a photographer, we did not know that. I love <laughs> it. When and why did you start playing basketball? Yeah, so I, I started playing basketball, like organized around fourth grade, um, where it was like CYO sub, which is like the Catholic youth organization, because I went to private schools when I was younger. Um, but I played because of my mom. I mean, I just really wanted to be like her when I was younger. Anything and everything that I could do to be an inkling closer to my mom um, is is what I did. So um, seeing her and like some of her pictures of when she played and just like her telling me about when she played really sparked my interest. When did you realize that you were actually great at this game? Yeah, I've been asked this question a couple of times. Um, and I feel like every time I say it, people are like shocked. But I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that I like knew that I was good or anything until high school, like maybe even like senior year. Um, I feel like kind of uh, the combination of like, you know, getting those offers and my team um, had just won a state championship. Like that's kind of where I really started to get going and like knowing that I was good. So it took me quite a bit of time considering I, I started at, you know, such a young age, but um, I mean, I don't see any, anything wrong in that. Absolutely. And your hard work has led you to the D1 level for an opportunity to compete in March Madness. That is huge in itself. Define what March Madness means to you. Yeah, I mean, it means, I mean, it means the world to me. I just think that, you know, especially being in one of those years where we didn't have an NCAA tournament. Um, and then also thinking about my program specifically, Michigan, 
um, not always making it to the NCAA tournaments, to just knowing that, you know, it's an accomplishment that not every school um, has the opportunity to compete in every year. And just knowing, you know, kind of how far my class and, and my teammates have have pushed forward this program to be able to be in the, in March Madness. So, I mean, it means a ton playing, you know, on national TV, um, being able to travel. I mean, that's one of the big things of, you know, why I love basketball to travel. But, I mean, being able to compete against the top, you know, teams in the nation uh, outside of your conference, um, it's just a lot of fun and, um, for, for any competitor. What gift do you want to give to fans in March? Yeah, I mean, I just, I really want them to see, you know, some amazing basketball, and I feel like that's a gift to anyone. Um, but specifically women's basketball, we saw last year how the ratings were up. We had a super fun and competitive tournament. It was so much fun to be a part of, um, you know, obviously um, hoping to go even further uh, than we did last year. But I just want people to see and recognize how awesome and fun and, and exciting women's basketball is. So that would be a gift to anyone. And I know you looked up to tons of women in this game growing up. So who are some of your heroes in March? Yeah. Um, one of the people I would say is Asia Wilson. She's most recent. I felt like um, I was able to watch, you know, her, her um, championship run. So that was a lot of fun uh, seeing her lead, you know, her program to, you know, a place that it, you know, hadn't necessarily been before. And that's something that I'm definitely looking forward to, you know, for my career. Um, you know, and I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I was able to see this next person as much like in the, the tournament runs, but, you know, when I was younger, watching a lot of Candace Parker um, and just, you know, how she just transformed the game. So those are two people who, you know, I really, really looked up to during their college career um, in general. Those are two of my personal favorites as well. And, you know, I know a lot of people are like, hey, I want to be like Nas Hillman. Little girls literally crowd the sidelines of you all's games and they look up to you all as heroes. What do you wish you could tell them about chasing their dreams? Yeah, I mean, I just, for me, I just hope that, you know, I'm a figure that they can look up to. I know that representation matters um, and seeing somebody who looks like you on the screen doing big things um, is important. I mean, some of two of those people that I just previously named um, are two of those people who look like me um, and, and, you know, gave me that, gave me that extra drive, you know, to know that I could do it, but just making sure that you're confident in yourself. You know, I don't think that people, uh, often talk about the confidence of the game um, and, and just how much it can propel you forward. Obviously, you know, if you're putting in the work outside of your games and your practices and your individual uh, workouts, it, after that, like you should just be confident in the work that you put in and just be ready to put that and display that to the world. Absolutely. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you so much. That was the other side of the madness with Nas Hillman. I appreciate your time.